Mirko Mueller crashing into the boards. He left third game. Uh, he left the game in the third period, excuse me, this season. He has one goal, nine assists, 71 hits, 52 blocks, but really just a scary hit head on, Sal. Yes, and just an unfortunate situation. He loses that right there. He toe picks, and that's the worst thing you want to have happen when you're going on to the, into the boards there. There's nothing you can do because you can't react quick enough to change it. You don't have enough time and. Um, my mom always said that's why she didn't come to too many games because just when no situations happen, it's unfortunate. Um, but as I alluded to on the ice, Erica, you don't see that very often. Given the percentages that you would think it would happen, it's very, very small percentage. And, and I like the fact that the, you know, the NHL, because the game's gotten so fast, the no touch icing, they, it, they've taken a lot of that away from because I think those type of injuries would be on the rise had they would have <laughs> didn't do that with the icing rules because it's just too fast now, Erica. The guys are too fast. You can't react. You can't change the pace. And if you toe pick, it's just very difficult. And it's uh, it's great that he's fine. He gave the thumbs up when he went by, and the reports are that he'll be good. Yes, and we are awaiting an official update from the New Jersey Devils. We know that uh, he's been checked out by the staff, and of course, we're just waiting to see exactly how well he is doing. But giving that thumbs up there as he was carted off yeah. the ice, a really so great key. sign. Now let's talk about uh, the penalty kill, which stayed pretty busy here this evening against Calgary Flames. And we know they're, as you mentioned, they're a strong team across the board. So that power play is part of what's made them so successful this season. And here's a look at the five on three. Yes, and they did a really good job here. The triangle rotated perfectly. They got in the shooting lanes. They didn't really give Calgary very much. And this was just fabulous. This was going into, this was the end of the second period. And you got to give these three credit. Now, you know, unfortunate bounce here and you know sometimes it's what happens it you just don't get the luck and I feel bad for Blackwood because everyone was playing well here you've seen the block you've seen Annie Green staying in the lane keeping you know Calgary to the outside and especially when they start doing these plays you're gonna see Calgary they start rotating and then you know right here you're gonna see the back door he was trying to hit Monaghan back door and, and I'm talking about Lindholm he gets the bounce off of Vatten skate and, you know, that was just the unfortunate bounce.